Welcome to St. John Bosco Community College, Kildaisert. Come on in. Right inside our front door, there's a picture of St. John Bosco, whom our school is named after. This school is called St. John Bosco Community College because it is an amalgamation of Caracon Salesian School and the vocational school that was on this present site. Every January, we're busy getting ready to celebrate St. John Bosco's feast day. Now, I'll bring you in to see our choir who are preparing his song. So Connor, you're now a Leaving Cert student. How do you recall celebrating St. John Bosco's feast day? Well, when I was in first year, uh, we celebrated the feast day by doing a drama. I played the young boy Bartholomew, who was kicked out of the orphanage. He went to St. John Bosco seeking for help. John Bosco first asked him could he say a prayer. The boy said no. He then asked him could he whistle. The boy said he could. John Bosco saw that the boy was good for something and he could do something. And this is the beginning of John Bosco's work with children. Um, Kira and Michael, how does John Bosco inspire you as head boy and head girl? John Bosco encouraged all the older boys in the station to look after all the younger boys. And that's what we do here by trying to look after the first years and make sure if they have any problems that we're here to help them, just like John Bosco was. Uh, I suppose what I like about John Bosco was his ability to see the goodness in everyone that came to him. Uh, one, of thing, one of his sayings was, there's no such thing as a bad boy. And here we try and see the potential in all of our students. Okay guys, I'd like to thank you for sharing your memories and thoughts on St John Bosco today. For me, St John Bosco was a visionary, especially in the area of education, where he saw education as a way of improving the quality of lives of especially the marginalised and their families and would improve their well-being and the well-being of the whole community. Brave. Tough life. Compassionate. Kind. Strong. An optimist. Full of love for young people. A great saint. This time of year we're busy learning about St John Bosco. Now I'll bring you into the first year religious education class where they're watching a film about his life. So we're here learning about um, John Bosco and his life on film. If I was to ask you for a word that describes John Bosco. Uh, trustworthy. Trustworthy. Why would you say that, Adam? Because uh, he all, he, he put everybody in his work. Caring, because he loved his, like, um, orphan, he loved the orphans and his family, you know. Yeah, he loved everyone he met, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Very sure, because he gives his money and food to the poor. Uh, loyal, because he puts faith in all the, the prison children. He's loving. Yeah, he's loving. That's very evident. How do you know he's loving? Um, because he is so generous and kind of put your hand in. He thinks of all the children because he gives them an hour's rest and he feeds them bread, like a loaf of bread instead of them stealing it out of shops. I was just looking at some of the video there and I want three pints from five minutes of the video. And the three pints I picked on were that he believes in good in everybody. He could never see bad in any. And we all do see bad people on occasions, but uh, he's trying to tell us, see good in everybody. Second thing to share, I think it's one of you mentioned that, verbal dead, but also that there's room for everyone. There's room for everyone in life. Your house should be open to everybody else. You should have provide shelter to everybody else. 
If we could live a few of the things that he talks about all life here in Ireland, it would be much better. Happy Feast Day!